Water signs, how you doing? It is Dharma here to do your weekend of November 6th through 8th, 2020. Burnt a big old hole in my tablecloth with sage, so that's good news. This is the zombie tarot. I'm obsessed with this deck right now. You can find me on Instagram, dharmajane.8. Not doing private readings, and don't forget to check us out daily for the interactive lives. In the box below, you should be able to find a link for the Raven's Nest, which is where we all hang out and chat. Okay, water signs. Three of Pentacles. Knight of Cups. Knight of Swords. <laughs> this is like a... He's in a tank. aggression and emotion there's somebody around who makes you I don't know crazy nine of pentacles two of swords nine of pentacles there might be that's what I'm saying there might be someone around who makes you a little crazy two of pentacles two knights two pentacles they are, they might be even really dramatic, okay? With the five of rods. They're just, it, this might even be a whole bunch of people around that are like a bunch of little monsters and they are irritating AF, you know what I mean? <laughs> there might be a little boy around who is just... <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Will you play with me? And you're just like, oh my God. And then, but then you see the six of rods. It's victorious. There's something about a choice here. Big choice between, here's the choice right here. The need to make something work. Okay. And it's between I just feel like a lot of, I want to be like a lot of, it's between a lot of energy, which is probably there's people everywhere. And here's your two choices, two of swords, two of pentacles, or the nine of pentacles. Singlehood or never being alone ever, ever, ever again. And that's the six of wands. That's victory. But I also see down there, it says it's official. You might be making something official. Oh, three of cups. You might be reconciling with someone and making it official again. You might also talk about a baby. There might also be a little messy monster baby around somewhere. But it could just be the I don't know about that page of wands. It feels, um, I mean, I was going to say like immature, but it feels, she, this feminine almost feels like she has to nurture this masculine to completely take care of, like they need taken care of. That's why she is around, I guess, is to care for that one. And she's happy or whatever, but she's like, wow. You're like a fucking man child. But she's happy. Look at how busy this place is. Busy, 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 busy. There's people everywhere. But what does this nine of pentacles entail? I mean, there might be a moment at a grocery store that where this masculine might get a text or, or like they're doing monotonous normal things, but then they get this like text where they could go and they could just drop it all. <laughs> 
They could drop it all. Ten of Pentacles in reverse to go after the Ace of Rods and the Nine of Cups. Nine, Ten of Cups and the Ace of Rods. But it looks like, I don't know, it feels like a potential last minute decision. Can we talk about these decisions and why it's six of rods? That's twice. They don't want to think about it anymore. I also feel like they don't want to be impulsive. Like I feel like they don't like the feeling of being pushed. And it's making them defensive. And so I feel like they're going to say no. The chariot in reverse and the lovers, like, no thanks. Queen of rods in reverse, no thanks. I'm not going to... I'm not going to leave my Hierophant. But then it's like they come over and they're all like over this one. You know what I mean by all over? They're like being all like this. That's why I'm saying she's looking at it like, why are you being so about it right now? Like curiouser and curiouser. But I think that the reason they're being like that is because this choice is getting made and they kind of feel good about it, right? So with this Knight of Cups, these two things, what is it that they, like, offer? Oh, the Lovers, of course. Ah, and the Six of Cups. Oh, my God, and the Ace of Cups. Oh, my God, and the Wheel of Fortune. No wonder they're like this. <laughs> they feel dreamy. Especially for water signs. Water signs be like that sometimes. It's like they make this decision based on passion and emotion and then they get all and she's all like caring and nurturing and even though in her own mind she's like, oh my God, this one likes to be petted on. She might not have any water in her chart. It feels like abundance. Can we talk about this nine of hazards again? Nine of pentacles when things change. The emperor. See? Boom. Nine of pentacles in reverse. Settled. It's been settled. But they have to also send a text about some stuffs <laughs> which I don't know what that's about and I don't want to know what that's about but if it's in their phone and they're dealing with it don't just don't even go there whatever what is this three of how three of pentacles here that they're trying to work on the empress and the ace of swords they want her to see we keep getting the Emperor for the masculine, and now we have the Empress. Oh my God. Yeah, that's the Emperor and the Empress and the Two of Cups. Everybody is taking their places on their thrones. That's what's happening here. People are getting together and then just feeling better. I want to be like, there might be bad weather outside if you see the, the uh, in the window back there. Rainy or snowy or something like that. And they're just fucking snug. What's this with these zombie babies over here? <laughs> the moon. Death. The swords. Ten of Pentacles. She lets she lets him in.
Like, she really lets him in? Why wasn't she letting him in before? Three of Cups. Because there was someone else. She probably... Oh, she, there's a Queen of Pentacles around that she knows about, but nobody will admit to it. The sun. But she knows where happiness is. She knows what's the best for everybody. She's the Empress. Right? So, okay. <clears throat> we have a masculine over the weekend resisting temptation. And then we have a get-together, a reunion that's beautiful, right? The stuff headlines are made of. Okay. There might be a lot of people talking about it. But then what? Okay, so that's what I want to find out in the in the extended because you've got the holding on to your the past that's what this is this is is a reuniting um what i want to see what happens next it feels like a cliffhanger because there was obviously a reason why it broke in the first place and that feels like an elephant in the room okay so if you would like to follow along the link for the extended is in the box below it'll take you to vimeo um don't forget to check us out daily for the live interactive readings and uh on the raven's nest on facebook the link for that's in the box below too Till next time bye